Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Professor Konstantin Korotkov, and I hope you know uh, me or about me. So now I want to give you an introductory course. So I want to go step by step about different topics of our biowell technology, but you should understand. It is not training. It is just introduction. And it will give you outline of what we are having, of what you should to do. But then obligatory, I ask you and persuade you to go to workshop, to one of our representative in different countries. And then you will have much deeper understanding what was going on. So let's start. And of course, before we start talking about biowell, we need to talk about human energy. Because all our discussions will be about energy. So energy, it is the essence of everything in nature. In physics, energy is one of the key topics. And we can derive all other moments like speed, like movement, um, uh, like power from energy. So it is main physical principle. And you know that energy doesn't disappear. It just changes its structure, changes its form. We know we, there are, have potential energy, kinetic energy. There are energy of uh, cosmos, energy of Earth. Uh, and when, for example, we go up to the mountains, we get potential energy. But if you fell from the mountain, you will get kinetic energy. And then this energy, when you drop down, will be transformed to the power of your impact. So we are talking about energy, and you need to understand, we are energy beings. We run on energy. We have unlimited resource in our energy in our body. Main source of our energy for the body, it is our mitochondria. It's little tiny particle that we keep in every cell of our body. And this is like an energy station. This generates energy based on quantum principle. Please pay attention to this, because you need to understand. We are dealing with quantum effects. And in all my talks, I will be referring to these quantum principles. So mitochondria, it's a quantum device. It is using electrons, positrons, and transfers this to energy. It stores energy in the form of complicated molecules. And then when we need, we can use those molecules to release energy. Of course, we need food, most of us at least. Of course, we have microbiome in our body to, uh, to process food. But it's a long story. So to make it short, we understand. We are energy beings. And with biowell technology, we are measuring the energy of our body, but indirectly. What does it mean? It means we are measuring light. Light, again, is the essence of life. Without light, there are no life. And light, we have of different frequencies. Uh, it's understandable. But we need light for our life. And light, it is, from one hand, particles, photons. From other hand, it's wave. Of course, it's very difficult to understand from a normal point of view. And it took uh, scientists practically 100 years to accept this idea. It was Newton, one of the genius, who was developing this idea of light as quantum, as particles, and uh, Huygens, who was developing the idea as light of, as wave. And they were just fighting with each other. But then it, w it got understanding. It's quantum. Quantum is illogical. That is why we are using light. We are measuring light with biowell. And then we refer light that we are measuring to human energy. This technology was originally named as GDV. And it's based on so named Kirlian effect. Kirlian effect is known for 200 years, more than 200 years. And it was a lot of people in the 19th century, 20th century involved in this Kirlian photography. And then in 1995, our team was able to develop new device. It was first GDV device based on my patents. 
Um, that was that allow us to transform everything to computer processing. So we are measuring light coming from fingers. We transform this light into image. And then we are having very powerful software that allows us to get information. Because we understand that all this, we need to get some information about human beings. And uh, as I've told, initially it was GDV, gas discharge visualization, but please forget this name immediately, it's too complicated. So now we name it as BioWell. Another name as we are using it's electrophotonics. So BioWell, it's next generation of GDV cameras that we've been developing together with Gaia company for last uh, five years practically. And this is next level of software, of hardware. So we are using the most complicated hardware that we can find now, uh, optical systems uh, and software. And this all allows us to create very powerful system that is now well accepted between professionals and that has tremendous potential for demonstrating human health and well-being. To get information about human being, we are using fingers, all 10 fingers of the body. So the first question, why fingers? Why not nose or ears or something else? Because, you know, our hands and our fingers in particular, this is special part of our system, which allows us to communicate with the world. You know that if you have babies, children, they need to touch everything. For them, it's obligatory. Without touching, they don't get feeling of what's around. We shake hands, not just to see uh, the, if there are no knife <laughs> in hand, but to feel each other. And when you shake ha hands with people, you feel their hands and you feel their energy. We exchange energy through our hands. That is touching your lover. It's a very special uh, feeling. And in our hands, we have the highest concentration of vessels, blood vessels. We have the highest concentration of nervous connections. And hands are related to all organs and systems of our body. We can have the description on uh, traditional Chinese medicine. It's description of meridiums and uh, acupuncture point. We have this description in traditional Korean medicine, so on and bone medicine again. We have some type of uh, medicine that represent every finger as a reflection of human body. So that is why our hands, our fingers in particular, those are most informative part of our body, even more than that. In our brain, we have sensitive areas of all organs and systems. And this is in particular part of the brain. So the sensitive part of our hands just nearby this area. And this is really one of the biggest part of a sensitive area of our brain. So that is why information that brain gets from our organs and systems comes directly to our hands. So this idea of connection between fingers and organs first have been developed by Chinese people in ancient times, thousands of years ago, and it is the basis of traditional Chinese medicine. Then later on, it was accepted by Western medicine, and first of all, by Dr. Wall in Germany, who developed his own system of acupuncture treatment and uh, diagnostics. Then it was developed later on by Dr. Mandel in Germany. He, he created his own system. We accepted all those systems, we transformed in accordance with our vision, with our clinical experience, and we created our own map of analysis. So, of course, the question is how we are sure that it's correct. Why? 
we have tremendous amount of research data. For last, practically now it's uh, 25 years, we had research done in top level universities of Russia, medical universities, in different hospitals in the United States, in France, in Germany. And it was done, of course, by independent group of doctors, scientists. And their goal was to verify and to check whether it is what we are doing correct or is it wrong. And it was correlation between all classical technologies, all classical um, methods of, uh, of analysis of health, and our GDB bioval technology. It was shown that correlation is about 80, 85 percent depending on type of problem. So that is why we can for sure tell you, if you see this information on the screen, if you see information in our bioval programs, it is real reflection of what's going on in the body. Of course, it's not diagnostics, very important. We don't make medical diagnostics. We make analysis. We make energy analysis of energy of organ systems of the overall wellness of stress level uh, and then professionals would it be medical doctors would it be practitioners can make diagnose diagnosis based on different analysis and for normal uh, experienced doctor of course they need not only by well they need analysis of blood they need analysis of activity of the body, and then they can make their conclusion. What does it mean, diagnostics? So why do we need calibration? This camera, it is very sensitive to environment. Depending on humidity of altitude, even weather, sun, moon conditions, it can change its, its parameters. We need to calibrate if we move to another place, if we have change of weather at different phases of moon. And of course, uh, with Bible too, you can make this calibration practically every day. So how we do this? on a practical basis. I take this bivalve, I put my finger inside the insert, like this, and I take this out. This is the easiest way. Then I have this metal cylinder, specially designed. We connect it with wire, and I just insert this in here. And I connect other part of the wire to the jack in out inside the, uh, at the back of the camera. So then I go to calibration point and I press start. Now everything is going on automatically. So what's going on? System takes measurements of this metal, metal cylinder, sends it to server. On server, we compare this image with standard image and then server change parameters of the bio device. So it's two-way process. And you understand it, shou it should be done only with connection to internet. Without, when it is uh, offline mode, it's impossible to make. And you see, it took us 30 seconds. So it's absolutely typical process. We press OK, and now we can go to our measurements. Okay, now we go to next topic. We go to practical demonstrations. So it will be real life demonstration, real life experiments. So I should tell you that I don't know what will be the outcome. We just see. So let's go step by step. And our first topic, uh, we uh, see how we need to take readings and how we need to make reading for the full scan. So first thing I do, of course, I calibrate. I did it before, so I know that this device is well calibrated. Next topic, what I do, 
I take off this insert and I clean optical lens. We should understand that this inside, those are optical lens, quartz lens. So, of course, we should be careful and we clean it with dry cloth. We don't need to use alcohol. We don't need to use any substances, just dry. Of course, if it's very dirty, I don't know why, it may happen sometimes. Then, of course, we need to clean it with alcohol, but then again with dry. Because even the best alcohol, it leaves some, uh, some track over there. So I clean it, and I clean it after every customer. Then I put it back, and we are ready to take her readings. But first step, I took her card. And I open this. I need name. And uh, I put, I can put number. And what's obligatory, of course, female or male, that's obligatory, and the date of birth, because this allows us to uh, calculate many parameters. Okay, that's it. In principle, I can add address, email, some, some remarks, if I need it. And you see, we immediately have a card created by system. And now we go to full scan. So for this, we need to make scan of all 10 fingers, one by one, starting from left, uh, from right thumb. And you see, you've seen that inside we have optical lens. So you need to position your finger in this uh, way, so like this, on the tip, in the middle of this lens. Of course, it may take some uh, trials, but we'll do it. And you insert your finger like this, you see. So we put it like this, yes, and touch the screen and position this on the screen. You see, excellent. Brilliant. Next one, please. Okay, excellent. Next one, please. Next one, please. Next one. And other hand as well. Next one. Next one. Next one, and middle one. You see, here we have really perfect position, and they are just in the middle. So if they are shifted somewhere up or down, sometimes we need to repeat it. But I see some extra dots, and it may be indication of some extra light. If it's a lot of light, computer will show this with red mark. Here all is green, you see all marks is green, but still I can make this little correction. I press this little button and then I clean just extra light that may be there and save it. Same here, some extra light that we can see and save. So now it's done. Then I press button analysis and you immediately see this information. And we see it's very strong energy field. No breaks, no holes, very uniform, very nice, very strong. If we go to analysis, we see ideal information. So everywhere we have ideal parameters. So all in optimal range, stress level, energy, uh, balance. We go to area diagram and we see it's practically ideal in optimal zone. It breaks the same as uh, optimal zone. We go to energy diagram, and again, we see 56% uh, of energy reserve, and we discuss that it's really the best value. Really, it's more than 50, so it's really very good. We pay little attention to uh, thyroid level, but it's only from one side. So it's, it's first just little indication, but of course, we need to take care of this. We go to balance, and we see some, but we see one, two, three, one, two. Oh, it's practically well balanced. Little bit dominance of sympathetic nervous system, a little bit, but what would we expect in the middle of walking day? So it's, it's, it's normal, it's normal. So that's why we have this very good information. We go to organs, and see everything in green. Excellent, really brilliant. We have, uh, we go to biorhythm, and we see today is, uh, today we have 
um, 15 it's here it's very good highest level really highest level of um, of uh, of these uh, graphs so this is really good day for you very good day for you you can do whatever you want in this day because this is two of the lines they are in highest range and you see to in this month you don't have uh, some negative days. It was one day in the beginning of the uh, of June of July, first days of July. So it was it was really some negative day, and maybe you can recall what was what has happened in this particular day. So micro relations you really have very good information, very good energy field, and very good energy, all in all. So that's really very very good. And this is you see it took us just a couple of minutes to make it. And we have all this information. And I'm sure if we repeat this reading, we have absolutely the same readings. Because this type of energy field, it's very stable. Because if we look to chakras, we see the perfect balance of chakras. Practically perfect. Of course, some variations we see. And uh, again, it's understandable because it's some in the feelings, in the emotions, it's, it's clear. But it's not very deep. It's just a little bit, little misbalance. If we look to optimal dawn, we see it's just practically on site. And of course, we can look to um, in Yan, and you see all in green zone. All. So that's again, it's very good information. So this is the way you see it took us just several minutes, and we have a lot of information about this you know, beautiful lady. Thank you so much. Now we go to discussion step by step, program by program. First program that we need to take into account those are program of energy field. And this is one of the key issue of our software. This picture, it's a model. It's a model of biological field. Energy field and biofield is the same. And if you look to this picture, you can see some moments that attract our attention and you can immediately understand whether it is strong, powerful person, like in this picture, or it is weak person. If we have holes, breaks on the energy field, it's all indication of some problems. If we have some peaks, outbursts, again, it is indication of some problems with energy of the organs. And we have several numbers here. We are measuring energy. As I've told, it is energy of light. Light emitted by our fingers. And then we refer this to our human energy. We have balance. And this is balance of left, right side. Or in other words, it's balance of sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system. Left, right part of the brain. So we have very important because we are not symmetrical. And this is very important part of our physiology, of our behavior. And of course, we need to understand what does it mean, all those parameters. M key, one of the first and important parameter that we are measuring, this is parameter of area. And here is this lower part. You see this parameter, area. Area is proportional to amount of photons emitted by finger. So you understand we have some amount of photons that we can detect. And this area, of course, it's in some computer numbers, it doesn't matter. But it is amount of photons that was captured by our system. And then based on amount of photons, area, and their energy, or intensity, we recalculate this to, to the energy of light. So those are key parameters that we are using. Area, intensity, and energy. And in all our programs, in all our evaluation, we are based on those parameters.
a next program that you see. Those are, this is program of chakras. We have this description in our programs. If you click on any chakra, you see a lot of information. Every chakra has its own color in accordance with Ayurvedic principles. Every chakra has its own importance, its own meaning. And for us, uh, chakras, this is, first of all, evaluation of psychological features. Again, please understand, this is model of chakras. We are not physically measuring chakras. What's important for us, it is how they are balanced. And if we click this button, see balanced view, we see that what does mean balanced chakras. And then for most of people, we have some correlation. So chakras go out. Uh, we can have balanced chakras only when people meditate. So for people who after meditation, in the process of meditation, if they do it properly, we have absolutely exact chakras like this. If we look to shift of every chakra, we make, can make some psychological description. The main principle as follows. If they shift it to this side, it is uh, external. It is related to extrovert. It is related to everything that people have outside of their of their activity. It means uh, their job, family, friends, uh, some uh, society, so it's all related to this. And of course emotions that people have uh, about this situation. For example, you see this heart chakra, and it's the chakra of love, as you know, a chakra of emotions. This chakra shifted to this side. It means that this particular person has a lot of attention to something of uh, outside to his job, to his activity, and um, he is very concerned about this. And it takes a lot of energy from him to think about this. If we shift, if chakras are shifted to this side, then it is introvert. It is everything related to inner emotions, inner feelings. And this is more typical for introvert people and then again, every chakra has its own connotation. For example, this chakra, it is more related to sexual activity. W if it is shifted, it means that something is going on with this person on this level. And of course, size of chakras, those are important topic. And size of chakras, uh, again, reflect importance of these particular psychological moments for this particular person. And if you study this information about chakras. If you look to internet and, and try to understand what does it mean, every chakra, then you will be able to make this analysis in, with high precision. Okay, now we go to next program, to next screen. And this analytical screen with different parameters. And you see, this is pre those are presented like scales. Why? Because on every scale, we have optimal zone, and this in green. And we have zones that are not so optimal. And let's discuss it. First of all, it is stress. And we understand, when we feel negative emotions or positive emotions, it is all stress. And of course, it's a lot of physiological transformations in our body related to nervous system, of course, to endocrine system, immune system, all related to stress. That's why uh, if we want to be healthy, we need to understand our level of stress and we need to understand what type of stress we have. That's why in viable programs, we have several options how we evaluate stress. First, this is the screen. Those are graphs, and this graph demonstrates us uh, psychological stress, in psychological stress. So it's not what people feel, but it's what the in their psycho-emotional state they have. So this scale has many divisions, many colors, and that's why we can tell, okay, from zero to two, it is very low parameters. 
end. This is not good. Because it may be indication of stagnation. When body can't respond to environment, when body is totally stuck in their own situation, in their own energy problems, and then uh, it's not very good. Of course, from other hand, we can have this low level for some people in deep meditation. It's another story. But for most people, for most of your clients, patients, if you have this level of stress from zero to two, it is not very good indication. Next is optimal, of course, from two to three. That is optimal, and this is the best. Next, from three to four, this is anxiety. And this, again, important indication. Because we have many people being in this state of anxiety. And then we need to understand what is it permanent anxiety or just for the moment. So that is why uh, we uh, will discuss it later, how we can detect. Of course, when people are in active process, when they are in their office, when they do some important topic like military personnel, like uh, athletes during uh, training or in the process of competition, they may have this level of anxiety increased. So it's quite possible. For us, it is important that uh, in the morning we ha should have low level of anxiety and at night. That's why for athletes, we take readings of this parameter uh, in the morning and at night. And then we can evaluate their level of preparation. More than four, it is different stages of stress. And so uh, in gun severe uh, books and papers, it is very well described. So if you look back to energy field of this lady, you see it's quite good. It's not that uh, can attract our very uh, high attention. If you look to um, another energy field of this lady, again, so it's quite good still. So it's quite good energy field. If you look to another energy field, you see it is quite good. And if you look to stress level, again, it's in optimal range. So what does mean high stress? Let's have a look to examples. I can put these different examples. You see, practically no energy field. And then if you look to analysis, 10. When the 10, this is very high level of stress. And then, of course, we need to understand what does it mean. If you look to another image, again, you see, very practically empty energy field. And in analysis, we have again 10. If you look to this image, so it's, it's again a lot of holes, a lot of breaks, and level of stress, 6.3. So we understand the more jaggered the energy field, the higher level of stress. You see, 5. So uh, this is indication of our energy field. And this indication of our psychological, emotional state. Let's come back to this first lady. Um, that is why uh, it is very important parameter. And the question is how we were able to make this parameter. So it was based on uh, nonlinear analysis of uh, fingertips. Uh, and it was correlated with psychological testing. So in psychology, they have many questionnaires that allows to evaluate stress and it was high correlation. From other hand, uh, we can measure cortisol in the blood and then again we had some correlation with cortisol level. So uh, now we are quite sure that it works well. Next parameters was uh, energy and this is energy that we are measuring from light but it is related to the energy of the body. And again, we have optimal zone, we have high and low, very low, and the question is false. Is it good to have high level of energy? Because people think, oh, the higher the better. No, it's not that so. It should be optimal. 
same as our temperature. It should be in some optimal range. If it's high or low, it's not so good. Same here. That is why uh, when it is very high energy, we need to understand what's going on. If it's athlete in some process of training, then it's okay. If it's military personnel in the process of some um, uh, task, some role, then it's okay. But if it's ordinary people in everyday life and they have high level of energy, then maybe, maybe, it may be related to some process in their body. And some energy process, active energy process that may be related to some un, uh, favorite situations. So that's why we should be very careful with this. Next uh, scale, it is scale of uh, uh, balance. And this scale, it indicates balance between left and right, right part of the brain. So it's just a relation of only of this. Another scale, organs balance. It is a relation of uh, balance of organs organs that have left and right presentation. And again, we should be in balance. If not, then we demonstrate this with, and this is average number. So all those scales, they are important for evaluation and they are easy to, easy to understand what's going on. Next program, or next screen, those are energy area diagram. Uh, and you see it shows us parameter for most of organs and systems. And it presented in uh, this diagram. So it is based on area of specific sectors. And we remember that area is, uh, is a relation of amount of photons. So it means how many photons emitted by this particular sector of finger. But then it is related, of course, to organ itself. So uh, if organ is active, energetic, then there are high signal. If organ is weak or if channel is blocked, then we have much lower energy. So that's what we see here. You see, uh, from analysis, it was normal energy, optimal zone. But if we look to area diagram, we see that many parts of this area are in low zone. Some of them in normal zone. And we can see what does mean optimal. It is clear indication that this particular lady, she's apparently healthy, apparently healthy, but she has lower energy. If we go to next screen, it is energy diagram. And this is parameter energy. You remember we've been discussing about energy. So again, we can see optimal zone. And we can superimpose this with uh, area diagram, just by pressing this button. And of course, the question why it was look different here and here. Because those are different scales in this graph. We present it in the scale of area, in amount of pixels that we are measuring. In this scale, we present both energy and area in relative numbers. It's not absolute numbers. Those, that's why they look differently. And if you look to uh, more careful, then you see in this scale, zero just in the, in, uh, in the middle. In this scale, it's different numbers, so zero is down there. So that is why they look different. And what's the meaning of this uh, screen? First of all, we evaluate energy reserve. So we have number down there that shows us energy reserve. And this is a reserve of our cells. Every cell of our body, as we told, those are energy station. And of course, it has some potential. We can starve for two months 
without food, and our body will be functioning still. We can't get without water, but without food we can de deal for a long time. Because we can use energy of our cells. If we need, for example, energy for sport, we send it to our muscles. If we need energy for brain, we send it to our brain. And it's, uh, I would say, uh, automatic process. We don't need to think where to, how to send it. But there are, of course, some people who can make it voluntarily, who can move their energy along Kundalini, along their body, and send it uh, where they want to. But for most of people, it works automatically. It's run by uh, autonomic nervous system. So this number shows us, is it good potential or is it low potential? So everything more than 25% is good potential. Of course, the higher, the better, up to 100%. If you have peaks at the energy diagram, this indication of some areas of attention. Why? Because any problem of the body needs attention from the system, from the body. And our heart has its own nervous system, and it has its own functioning, not depending on the brain. So heart looks where there are some problems, and where to send extra blood with oxygen. So when we see peak that comes out of green zone, then it is indication of some energy problem. It's indication that body pays special attention to this uh, organ or system, and this is area of attention. The power of bival system that we, not that we can see existing problems, but we can see potential problems long before uh, they appear as some symptoms. And we have thousand cases in practice in uh, for our uh, colleagues, practitioners, uh, doctors who can detect problem before symptom appearance. And of course, it's possible to fix this problem. So the main goal is prevention to keep people healthy, to keep them uh, in well-being, uh, but uh, and not to go to some real serious disease. Next program on next screen, this is balance. And on this screen, you see these bars. And you see some of them are highlighted, some of them not highlighted. So uh, the principle is follows. Here we present most of organs and systems that have late left right presentation. That's why uh, not all, all organs and systems are presented here, but only that they have two uh, types of presentation. And then if we see difference in energy more than 20% or 15% even between left and right, then we highlight this bar. So the more highlighted bars you have, the more unbalanced the system. And what do you mean balanced, unbalanced? We can describe this in the notion of sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system. We have so named autonomic nervous system that runs 24 hours, seven days per week, nonstop for all our life whether we uh, wake up or whether we sleep. Uh, and it governs activity of all organs and systems. And we have two sides of this uh, autonomic nervous system. One is sympathetic, another parasympathetic. So sympathetic, it is activation. Parasympathetic, it is relaxation. And they should be in balance all the time. So we have some stress, we activate our body, our system. We activate our heart beat, we activate blood uh, uh, level, uh, we activate sugar level, so it's a lot of process in the body. And of course, immune system, nervous system. Uh, but then, of course, we need to relax. So for, uh, normal, for uh, balanced people, they activate and then relax. But 
many people, they activate and don't relax. And this is really very serious problem. So we can talk about permanent stress, long-term stress. It means overactivation of sympathetic nervous system and not efficient activity of parasympathetic nervous system. So at this screen, we see just this situation. Green bars, they are related to sympathetic nervous system. Blue bars, they are related to parasympathetic. Why do we know this? We did uh, several clinical tests, clinical trials, where we were able to compare bio-well readings with uh, heart rate variability, HRV. And HRV is accepted uh, way of measuring activity of sympathetic parasympathetic nervous system. And it was shown very good correlation. That's why, of course, this is empirical still. It's empirical observation. But we can talk about this. So look at this screen. We see one, two, three, four. Four in green. And very big difference. Sympathetic nervous system. One, two, three, parasympathetic. So even if level of stress is low, by this we can include, yes, but there are some overactivation. Some, not very strong, but some. For in, mo in most cases, we see all the bars highlighted. In this case, we see only some of them. So this situation is not aggravated. It's not so bad. But still, we pay attention to this, and we need to understand what's going on, and we need to discuss with this particular person. And in this case, if we look to chakras, we see they are scattered. And three of them are s uh, s shifted to intraverse side. So it is indication for us that this particular lady has something related to psychological troubles, psychological emotions, and of course it doesn't allow her to relax. And uh, so we make analysis. You see this program, this program, and chakras, and we can make real final conclusion that yes, this situation has to be addressed. And then, of course, we can see to which organ system it is related to and pay attention to those organs and systems. Next screen or next program, those are organs energy. And here we see main organs and systems, and we can have a look at this in more details. So you see it may be in green zone or in yellow, red. So for this case, most everything is in green. So it is indication that uh, it's really physiologically she is apparently healthy and everything is quite good in her case. Let's look to some other cases. You see, in this case, it's different station. We have a lot of yellow. And uh, yellow, it is increase. So for us, it is indication of zones that need attention. So it is clear that for this particular person, a lot of systems and organs need real attention. Here we need to understand, yes, in this case, it looks nice from the first appearance, but in reality, it needs attention. And for many practitioners, this is a, one of the key programs that allow them to have main understanding of what's going on. And uh, based on this, they evaluate energy of different organs and systems. Then they can make correction of this situation, if needed, using their own different means, different instruments, different methodics. And then it allows us to keep people wealthy and to keep them in good shape. So this is, again, main goal of this instrument.
Next program. Those are program of biorhythms. And this is based on very well known in psychology cycles. So it is emotional, physical, physiological cycles. And they are calculated from the date of birth. That's why when we uh, register a person, people, we need their date of birth. Of course, we understand that in oriental approach, they need time, exact hour of birth as well. Here we're not so precise. Of course, we can, we've been discussing that we can include, but we tried. It's shifted a little bit, but not so much. So if you look to this graph, for us it's important, whether they are in high level or in low level. If they are in low level, so because it's obligatory they go to low level once a month, uh, there are two cycles simultaneously in low level, or just only one. If it's only one, that's not significant. Don't pay attention. But if there are two of them in low level, and if they coincide with low level, then those are days of attention. We have a lot of experience with athletes. And we see when we have them in low level, they lose concentration. They lose attention. So typically now, uh, our coaches who are using this type of program, uh, they uh, prefer to give them uh, day of rest in those particular days. If you're driving car, you need to be most attentive in those days because it may be some troubleshooting. If people plan, for example, their surgery or some intervention, they don't have need to plan it for those days because again, it will be a very uh, much longer recovery. So we have a lot of experience for this. Uh, those calculations taken for, uh, for us from psychological uh, practice, it's not our invention, but they have a lot of uh, psychologists, they have a lot of experience with this and a lot of data. And we have proven this with our athletes in Olympic, Paralympic teams, and now in Russian sport, they use this type of program, and in particular this program, this type of measurement, uh, for all their athletes. Okay, next uh, screen in our programs, those are screen of fingers. And this shows us real images that was captured uh, from all 10 fingers. And if we look to some particular finger, we see, first of all, many parameters that describe this finger. And uh, those parameters uh, evaluate all area, energy, intensity, and uh, other topics. And when we take our readings, we take it in blue black and white. Why? Because main part of this light is in ultraviolet. And we are using special cameras, so it doesn't make sense to have to use uh, uh, color uh, cameras. But then we apply different color. And these colors depend on spectrum. So to make it more visual, to mo make light clear. And then we apply sectors depending uh, in accordance with our uh, analysis map. And we can see different sectors and their meaning for different organs and systems. And uh, we can make a look to spectrum, how it looks like. We can look to image, just like a line. And this is line, this line is the basis of fractal evaluation. And we can see many parameters. So we are measuring different parameters for every finger and for every sector. And this we have description of all those parameters. And we use those parameters for statistical evaluation. By well, it's a very good tool for statistics and for research. That's why we have hundreds of papers published on research with Bible. 
and it was specially designed to extract uh, statistical material, to extract parameters, and then to make evaluation. So here we, you can see the meaning and of every parameter. Uh, you can find description of this in our materials, in our books. And uh, then, uh, of course, you can use it for analysis. But what's important? If you are not professional scientist, if you're not a professional researcher, I don't recommend you to uh, look to these parameters very deep, because it's difficult to understand sometimes. Yes, you can look, of course, to level of stress, energy, uh, energy reserve. That's understandable. But if you look to other parameters, that may be complicated. So you can measure this. You can collect this data. But then you can address researchers, professional statisticians, and then can make uh, evaluation. So we look to those images, and we see how they look like. And very important in, our, in all our descriptions to see different types images. In our materials, we describe different types of images, and we describe how they may be related to different uh, level of, and, uh, of health, different psychological situations, uh, even psyche situations in some case. So you can find this information. But just to give you a couple of examples, look again to stress. And uh, you see that if you look to, we look to images here, fingers, you see, they look different. First of all, there are many breaks and holes. Then you see a lot of uh, outbreaks of this kind. And all those outbreaks, all those holes, they have specific meaning. So those are indication of some energy situation is the energy deficiency or energy excess. We pay attention to both. We pay attention to all anom anomalies of those images. And outbreaks of this kind, those are indication of some aggressive process. And in our materials, in our books, you can find description what does mean images related to altered state of consciousness, related to very high level of stress related to different <coughs> problems. So that's why we pay a lot of attention to the image itself. And uh, for this, we are using those fingers. In previous versions of GDV, of Kirlian photography, they had only images, nothing else. Now, as you see, we have many other programs that allow us to make more detailed analysis. Of course, um, as you do measurements, it was always kept on a uh, database. And you can always have access to your own database. But we need to send it to someone. We need to exchange data. There are two options. One way, you can press this button. You can put here login, login, login of other person and send this information to other person just pressing this button and you see it's very easy but of course it may be done only for people who are using biowell this is the way how we exchange data with each other at the same time we have another option we can uh, go to report and report allows us to print report so uh, we have many topics in this report, and we can choose which topic we like and which we don't like. We can always click what we need, and then press OK. And you see, it is a uh, description here. We automatically have name of a person and date of measurement. Then we see some description of about Biowell. And we see all information. We see this energy field. We see analysis with all graphs and description. What does it mean? We see diagrams if we need it. 
or we don't we if you don't need we can't have it with again with description with explanations we have balance diagram we have chakras and you see in this case of high stress chakras are very well balanced but they are very little very small ones and description of chakras we have description of organs and systems and some conclusions and recommendations so that make some accumulation of data from all uh, those programs so and you c as uh, when you use it you can change information if you don't like it for example I don't need this description I can highlight it and just eliminate this same I can do with all information that we have in this report and when I am happy with what is done I press this button save and it's saved as PDF file and then of course you can print it out you can send it to someone you can keep it in your own files so this is very convenient and as you see it's totally automatic system so you don't need to think how to do this or that so it's it's very easy very important feature of this software is ability to compare different readings for example you are making some treatment you can take readings before and after and you see effect or people do meditation and they have readings before and after and we can compare this so this is very important it's very easy for example how it's made I can send it to I can press this button compare and I send to compare programs if I go to this screen to this mode I have this before and after and you see I have these readings which shows us when it was done I have these parameters those parameters that again and I can look at different options left right I can look at chakras comparing like this way or I can go to another uh, screens so for example energy field uh, superimposed in some cases may be convenient chakras chakras are superimposed as well and this is very convenient presentation because we see how it was shifted uh, from first one reading to another reading analysis it's very clear how we can see this different sc scales measured before and after uh, any area diagram same and here uh, in this description you see very clear when it was done up to date and time so that's it gives us a clear indication energy diagram same before after balance programs before after you see this way uh, then of course fingers as well and uh, graphs we present this some graphs and uh, so this allows us to make evaluation of response of people to anything would it be treatment would it be exercise would it be meditation doesn't matter so we see before and after or even more than that we can follow up this process in time so if we send several readings go to compare we can compare several readings now it's four of them and again see all responses in time uh, here at this program we can download up to 50 readings and make them comparison but of course when you have more than six it's not convenient to see something on the screen so typically we uh, make six uh, maybe sometimes even ten not more and uh, 50 we are using for statistical analysis 
And uh, when you make this evaluation, you can look to parameters and you can uh, um, create a report. And in this report, you see all those cases, one by one. And you see all the simulation, comparing different parameters. And again, as in previous case, you can see what you need and what should be in this report. And if you don't like any information, any part of this, you can get rid of this. You can delete any part of description. And then again, printing button uh, save, you save it as PDF file. But most important, don't forget where you have saved it. Because a lot of people, they save it, but they, don't, they can't find it <laughs> later on in their own computer. So this compare option, it's very important part of our BioWorld system. And a lot of practitioners, a lot of people, researchers, doctors, they use mostly this program because it shows us response of people to different treatment, whether it is positive, negative, and allows to follow up this response in time. And a lot of people, they make analysis of their themselves and their patients every day, and they can follow up. But what's important? If we make day-by-day -day analysis, it should be done in one at the same part of the day. Because we have so an circadian cycle, it's daily cycle, and this is a cycle of all functioning of our body. We have most clearly represented by level of cortisol, it's a hormone of survival, hormone of stress. It should be high in the morning, and then low down during the day, coming to zero or minimum, not zero, of course, minimum uh, at night, and then coming up again. So it's it's healthy cycle. Same we can see on energy. If we're measuring energy of a person during the day, we see this cycle. That is why if you take measurement of one some person, if it's done in the morning, you need to repeat it in the morning. If you do this at afternoon, repeat it in the afternoon. Because if you compare morning at night, and night it will be, of course, different. Another important topic, another important question. People are measuring someone, and they take readings, then repeat in 10 minutes, and those are different. Why? How? So this depends on person. There are stable people who keep their energy field quite stable, and there are flexible people. All children, they are very flexible. They can change not only from hour to hour, but from minute to minute. Very nervous people, they are flexible. They change again their energy. So that is why it is indication of stability of nervous and physiological system of person. The most stable program, those are energy diagram program. This program that can be upper and lower, that it can like breathe, but it is quite stable. If we look to these readings, we see it was readings done um, during several months even, from March to June. And of course, it was big difference between March, it's time of spring, and June. But all the graphs, they are very much alike. And we understand, OK, in March, this particular person had lower energy, much lower. That's why it was necessary to make something to increase this energy to support system after spring. And in summertime, of course, it's time of sun, fruits, vegetables, grass, and uh, warm 
so it's typically it's very typical for most of people they have much better energy so that's why if you use bio system obligatory you will be using compare mode and it will make a very easy evaluation of any treatment any effect and it's really very very helpful Now I need to give you several hints about um, several just common topics. Uh, first, about using so-named filters. Filters, those are plastic films that uh, we are using for a long, long time. And uh, we apply this filter on the screen, and then we take readings, same as we do with uh, normal fingers. And uh, this filter allows us to separate between psycho-emotional field and physiological field, or somatic field, psychosomatic and somatic. So in without filter, we take into account both physical side and emotional side. With filter, we take into account only physiological, somatic side. So for people with normal level of stress, not very high elevation, it's no difference, practically no difference. For people who have high level of stress, for them it will be big difference. And for this type of patients, for this type of customers, we can see uh, whether it is only emotional problem or it is physiological problem. And if it is physiological problem, how it is related to different organs and systems. So in some cases, not in all cases, it allows to get extra information and to give extra hints to people what should be done, to how to prevent more serious situations. One more screen that we need to pay attention, it's in yang screen. This shows us main mediums from traditional Chinese medicine and their energy condition, whether they're in green zone, in red zone deficiency, or in elevated state. So, and then we can see to which fingers those meridians are related to. And the basic picture of this particular meridian. So this is mostly being used by acupuncturists, by people who work with traditional Chinese medicine. We have reference from those people, and they tell that it's, it's quite a good program that hel helps them to evalu make evaluation. You know that uh, from time to time, you can, when you open Bible program, you see uh, information about update. And program asks you, would you like to make update or not? So we suggest you and we ask you to make updates. Because then you will be using most advanced features of Bible programs. For some people, uh, depending on their computer, depending on what they have on their computer, update doesn't work properly. So in this case, we ask, please go to bio-well.com. There, download latest program from there and reinstall it. And then you will have these main features. So please don't uh, afraid, don't be afraid, and don't hesitate to make it. 